Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day today. It's Clean Klaus back today for some TD action. Big TDs. The bigger the better. Starting with one of the biggest. Big bad tier 9 TDs is what we're watching today. And we're starting with Neurolite from the Queen's Clan. Shout out to you guys. In one of the biggest baddest tier 9s. Driven by a female commander. Well, I guess not. Commanded by a female commander. Maybe it's not driven by a female commander. I assumed. The T95. Look at these camo patterns on these things. The Conway looks very pretty. Look at the Conway. Ooh. T95. And what else? Object 263. Two big bad tier 9s. Slightly different playstyles, but almost the same. They roll around slowly. Well, the Optic 263 is a little faster. But they typically roll around slowly. They've got good armor. And when they get there, pow! Right in the kisser. And Alpha Poppy. Alpha Poppy, you've made a mistake. You made a mistake, Alpha Poppy. You've given away half your HP. The big boy is here now. Alpha Poppy out of the way. Big boy here. The big boy stops on the corner and waits for someone like him. Just right through. Go. There you go. <laughs> ah, we, we've seen that many, 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 many times on this channel. The Super E100 with that magnificent turret armor. Look at that. Especially when a TD is pressed number two and is shooting uh, 320 pen. It's not Russian. does not 340 pen. 320. APCR. What's the E100 going to do? The E100 is going to aim at him. Shall we just make fun of the E100 or shall we watch the T95? But it just gets me every time. When the E100 aims at you, he's weak. And that's how it is. And he's waiting patiently now at this corner for that M103 to make a mistake. Or maybe the E100 will try and aim at someone again. Oh, here he comes. The E100 is coming. Is the E100 going to be... I'm in a big super heavy. I think I'll aim at someone. Oops! Wargaming never told me that that's when I'll get penned. By everybody. He rolled 814 too, and now he's decided to move up. Oh no, he's going to do a flanking maneuver. The T95 is going to flank. And let's read the chat. You can't even insult me without regurgitating the same effing words over and over again, says uh, the STB1. He's very angry. Very angry STB1. Because we know this is a video game where you're supposed to have fun playing, but the STB1 is very angry. Very. Are you that mentally slow, says the STB1? The SDB1 is taking a lot of time uh, just uh, typing. He likes to type. He doesn't like to control his tank or do things. He likes to type. And the T95 does not care. He's going to round the corner. Well, not yet. Wait till you're reloaded. Okay, now you're loaded. Now you can round the corner. Or you can take a blind shot on the enemy STB1 who's probably right there. He's wondering, reassessing his position. Oh, there he is. You were fidgeting. It's, oh, oh, boop. <laughs> ah, T95 is beautiful, beautiful. Now, how would you equip the T95? Improved rotation, turbo, rousers? <laughs> I don't know. You gotta, you gotta get it so that it can move, right? It's so slow. It's so excruciating. Oh wait, 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 wait for it! Wait for it! Wait for it! Didn't even hit the leopard and did 676. Didn't even hit him. The pixel just grazed other pixel. But game said yes. Oh boy. Okay, how would you equip your T95? Let me know in the in the chat there, guys. Or in the comment section. This guy, regular schmo, spamming APCR, look him on the phone, is not running food. Because uh, I guess the T95 gets flanked easily and shot up the ass and it does light on fire, but. Food would help with just the maneuverability. If the teammate just gets out of the way, there you go. Great shot! Because 320 is almost as good as 340 pen. And that object is upset. How did that big, powerful Tier 9 TD tank destroyer harm me in my Russian medium tank? That's just not right. Well, I'm sorry, but that's how it should work, my friend. Now he's got his sights set on the M103. The Conway pulls back. 
The M103 thinks, ooh, the Conway's pulled back. I'm fighting the Conway. Maybe if the Conway shoots his gun, then I'll return fire. Oh, that Conway, I'm gonna shoot him. Ha <laughs> ha, there's the Conway. He's trying to take a shot. I'm gonna shoot the Conway. <laughs> the Conway, oh, I'm gonna back up it. Oh, wait, 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 there's, there's, I've got back up there. Oh, he hit the gun! He hit the, uh, the M103's gun. He waited and waited and waited. And Mr. Conway, you didn't do anything. Now, 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 just prepare, prepare. And uh, just right through. No problem. Yeah, but the T-30 uh, pressed number two as well. Uh, the M103 did not. And the T-30's not going to make a mistake. Would you stop fidgeting? Just pre-aim. Just pre-aim. Oh, there you go. And the commander, the woman, is knocked out, but she's still speaking. She still sings. I'm like, the, the commander's been hit. That, that's you. How are you speaking? <laughs> Conway, why don't you do something? Go absorb a hit for the T-95. And the T-95 says goodbye, bye. And the Sam 103 is still, still in the game. Still in the game. And the, uh, the T... T-95 says, forget the Conway. The Conway's a pussy. He doesn't have his big boy pants on, so I will go fight. He is going to take a hit, but just put it right through anywhere. Even in his turn. You've got number two pressed. You just have to hit the turn or wedge this guy in like a cockroach. I just put it through anywhere. That's right. He hit your gun. Our gun is damaged. <laughs> the gun is damaged. No, just you should wedge him in there, buddy. Just wedge him in there like a cockroach. He can't do anything. I would have wedged him in like a cockroach. And you can shoot the M103 almost anywhere. Because it's just... Not a heavy tank. Just auto-aim. There you go. Just shoot. They're done. They're done. <laughs> oh, I like big TDs. And he's fixed his gun. The E100 is still alive, which is surprising. So turn around. He's only got three teammates fighting the E100. He might as well go there and help. Because if there's one thing a T-95 can do, is circumvent the map to go and help someone. Come on. Did you check how much HP the 100 has? He only has 900. I don't know if I would have wasted my time. You know you're wasting your time. You're just moving along. Your teammates will forget about you when the E-100's gone. See? You wasted your time. You don't do that on a T-95. It's too slow. Never uh, deviate from your, your path in a T-95. You're headed one way, you know, you see all the unhurt enemies right here. They're all camping over here. You're headed that way. You see a teammate calls help. You say, I'm sorry, I'm in a T-95. I can't help. It's too slow. So by the time you get there, the outcome will be, um, it will already have happened. So you won't be able to see him just by zooming out. But he could take a blind shot. Will he take a blind shot? No. He's backing up. This guy plays the T-95 in a very strange way. What are you doing? Just go in there. Just you know, move forward. Absorb the hits. He knows that doesn't work in this game. Because there's something called the number two key on the keyboard. And for some reason he's... he's Well, you know, he's, he's being smart. You know why he's being smart? Because I'm being stupid. I forgot to actually check. Um, if you look at this, they're down 5,279 HP. They're also losing 910. I did not appreciate this. And sometimes when you're playing the game, it's in a slow tank like this, and you're battling, and, and then you win your flank, you think, whoa, I'm doing well, and, and you keep blundering forward. And I think he would have just died blundering forward. Just like the object 777 will die because he's blundering forward. So he's actually looked at the minimap, he's looked at the score, especially the HP difference, and he's decided that, well, the enemies surely should believe that they have an advantage and maybe they'll come and try and be more aggressive. And if they do, then the T-95 will be waiting for them. Because he could, there you go, the Object 777 uh, blundered forward and died. I rest my case, this Grille and KPZ, just line of fire there, look at the minimap, okay? So there's just, it's a, the old uh, thing that I told you guys many, many years ago. If, if you're confused and you don't know what to do, just go back to base. And he's reversing back to base because he doesn't want to get shot up the ass, even though he's, he has a fire extinguisher. 
It's better not to get shot up the ass than to get shot up the ass, lit on fire, and then enabled to put the fire out. So he's reversing the whole way, which you may think is a little bit uh, slow, but hey, they're losing by over 6,000 HP now. The enemies are going to push forward because they want to win the game. And he's going to be ready. There you go. Simple. He now is in a position where he can defend the cap. They've got the object 430U spotting in the... There, there's the grillet. And the grillet has just killed your friend. And you turned around. You turned around. Why, why were you turning around? I don't know where, where he was, thought he was going. Into one of these cubby holes. Okay. Now, if you go in the cubby hole, they can shoot you in the side. No, they can't because there's a building there. Now, he has to watch the grillet. And his STV-1 is in one of those little cubby holes watching everyone else. Oh, there's a shot, there's a shot. There's a shot, there's a shot, there's a shot. Boom! There's a shot, boom! And the grillet comes. Here comes the grillet. I'm in a grillet. I'm going to aim, aim, aim. But I'm going to bounce because I'm German and I'm in a grillet. And now he's going to pull forward. Does he have HE loaded? No, he does not have HE loaded. But just take a shot on him and high roll for 818. And the grillet is thinking, blah, 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 blah. I'm in a grillet. Blah, 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 blah. I grinded this, oh, and I bounced because I'm in a grillet, which is German. And I forgot to look up weak spots in wiki. And I don't know that uh, I should shoot the T95 in those little cupolas. Now the T95 is going to go, boom, and shoot me for 709. I'm a grillet. Blah, 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 blah. I'm a grillet. Oh, I bounced again because I'm a grillet. Uh, and I don't know how to play this game. And I'm going to uninstall right after we lose. And I'm going to let the T95 just manhandle me. Uh, well, he is slow and has no turret. But I decided to sit in front of him the whole game rather than drive behind him. Because I'm in a grillet. And I could have used my mobility, but I didn't. Because, um, well, reasons. And right now, while you guys finish watching this video, I am uninstalling the game. And the T95 shoots the T30. Kaboomy! And the T30 is going to try and flank him, but the T30 bounced because I forgot to aim! I forgot to aim! Oh, but the Leopard's behind him. The Leopard's going to take one shot, and the Leopard is reloading, and he is going to take out the T30. Then the Leopard is going to do something foolish here and let him get his ass right up his face. And he's going to bounce because he's a Muppet. And now the T95 is going to back his ass into the corner and not allow the Leopard to get behind him. T95 is going to come around the corner and the Leopard is going... I'm a leopard and I don't know how to play this game and my friend in the grillet just uninstalled and I'm thinking I should uninstall as well. And so goes the live action commentary that you get to enjoy on this channel. Now, <clears throat> what would you do if you were a leopard right now? Well, it's easy, Klaus. I would just drive behind him and shoot him in the rear and win the game. Well, that sounds very easy. You are correct. But uh, this grillet prefers to just blunder forward and scoot around down the road and now he's running away he's had enough he wants to uninstall even after being shot he didn't think that well maybe I'll shoot him while he's reloading no he's just gonna drive foolishly <laughs> is he gonna do it is he gonna actually drive foolishly down this road is he really going to dive foolishly down this road? He's not flanking. He's not smart enough. Where is the leopard? There he is. The leopard's flanked. The leopard forgot to aim. And he low rolled! No! The game said no! The game said no, 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 no! No, I can't believe it! But the leopard... And the leopard bounced because he's a Muppet! And he's going to take one up the ass! Oh my god. A leopard and a grillet. The dynamic duo. There they were. The leopard and the grillet. Ernie and Bert. <laughs> Ernie and Bert. Holy shit. I can't believe it. That was an eye opener, guys. That was an eye opener. This is the competition. <clears throat> This is what's required to get a game close to 10,000 damage. I uh, leave some comments. I want to hear the comments. Come on, let them have it, guys. They deserve it. They deserve to be berated in the chat. <laughs> no more comments about how sexy my new haircut looks. Okay? I want comments about Ernie and Bert. 
Which one was the best Muppet? Ernie? Get away. Or Bert? Oh, <laughs> does he reload in time? Aim, don't do that auto-aim bullshit. Oh, could, is he going to do it? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Victory! Radley Walter, Steel Wall, High Caliber, and Top Gun gets his first mark. 10,736 damage, 8 kills, and he made credits. The challenger in today's face-off is not the dreaded EBR. It's Zinzinator, 66 from the JL Clan. Shout out to you guys in his Object 263. And let me know in the comments. Who has the more exciting game? The more spectacular display of unicomness or luck? Was, was it the T95 or is it the Object 263? And if you're enjoying the video so far and you've been watching the Klaus Kellerman channel for a while and you're wondering who is this guy, uh, maybe think about subscribing and help the channel grow. The commentary is all live. The commentary is just as we see it, we enjoy it together. I just add color and um, pizzazz and... Um, and silliness to it because after all this is just a dumb game isn't it i hope you guys are enjoying it let's watch the second game and let me know in the comments section after you subscribe who is more worthy of just greatness and uh this this guy it's a, it's a very similar td here it's purple which is a little weird a purple tank but uh it's a little it's faster it's obviously faster than the t95 but it plays very similarly because it's very heavily armored. Has a very weak lower plate, but very strong superstructure. Maybe even stronger than the T95. Not as high alpha on the gun, but the one thing about this thing is because of the speed, it gets into positions faster. Uh, it can surprise you. Uh, even if you're a medium tank and you're heading somewhere, boom, there's an object there. You're an object, they're an object, everywhere an object. Oh, War Gaming had a game. And they infested it with objects. With an object here and an object there. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Like chicken men. Papa Daniel. Hey, Papa Daniel, what happened? What did you just shoot there? You shot 270 APCR and it bounced. Your premium shells are 300. Papa Daniel. Didn't even hit. Oh, being trolled in a Russian tank is not fun. But hey, you bounced two shots. Beautiful. That's tough. That's tough being trolled like that. Especially when you have beautiful side shots. Make it count. Make it count. There you go. 581. Little lower alpha gun. But still, when one of these hits you, it's painful. It's gonna hurt in the morning. And the E100 is tracked and has no idea what he's doing. Oh, and he bounced one. Very nice. E100 is uh, holding his own. But this guy has a target-rich environment here. He's pressed number two, so he can just shoot the E100 pretty much anywhere in the front. Don't know if that hit. Ah, the E100 is there. Just shoot him through the front of the turret. It all depends which way the turret is. Don't, he sees he's in the gap. Watch, guys. I'm going to show you this. Watch. This is not good. You see where he is? If he shoots, if there's anyone here, if he shot those guys, he was in the gap with the bushes, right? If you want to shoot those guys, there's the leopard. Okay, take the shot on the leopard. Back up, 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 back up. He didn't get spotted by the leopard. Maybe the leopard pulled back and pushed himself. If he's going to shoot these guys that he's aiming at right now, if he's going to shoot those guys, you need to back up to here. A little bit something about the game. You either have to be behind this house or behind that house. Because if he shoots those guys and he pulls the trigger and he's just behind these bushes, someone here, like this leopard, or maybe someone else, can spot him and make him pay for his stupidity okay so you just gotta this is a good spot but you gotta use the houses when you're doing the crossfire thing all right let's see him here he's up at 1600 he's gonna take a shot there and and not only will the leopard spot the leopard spots him those guys there see the leopard spotted him now those guys can shoot him back it's, it's not a good... Uh, now he's backed up. I think he's accidentally put himself in cover now. Boom. And he might have hit a tank that was not lit there. He might have hit a tank that was not lit. He's not really paying attention to the gap. Is he in the gap there? Let's shoot the 100. Boom. Is he in the gap? Yes. 
You are lucky you didn't get spotted, buddy. You are lucky you didn't get spotted. Now he's got the... See, he's lucky that that Charfatur did not spot him. So he's a little bit of luck. This guy's having a little bit of luck, mainly because the enemies are Muppets and they do not have any good map control. Boom. Oh, beautiful. Bramitia. This is, you'd say this is a camping position, but it's not. Uh, this is a very good position to spot people that are doing this. And it seems like the leopard has abandoned that position. Now, this game played totally different than the T95 game. The reason he's been able to have such a good game so far is speed. He was able to get this position and be able to put on these uh, flanking shots. Uh, the T95 has no chance of doing that. No hope in hell of, of doing that. The T95, let's wait to see this shot. Oh, seven, no, 591. The T95 would have had to, in this game, just drive here and fight with the big boys in, in this cluster right here. That's what he would have had to do. Or maybe just, oh, nice shot. Or maybe just come along the south here and, and push forward. T95, much less versatile. But a higher alpha gun. Okay, aim, aim, aim. <laughs> Russian accuracy. Whoop. Are you... Does his ass sticking out? No? Okay, he's, he's, he's good there. Alright. And these guys are not appreciating that they're in a crossfire. Oh, he just... There was Pixel. There was Pixel. They're not really appreciating that they're in a crossfire. Oh, well. Okay. E100, this is going to hurt in the morning. This is going to hurt in the morning. Oh. Oh. Actually, it's going to hurt right now. He thought he might be spotted there, but he was not. They're losing 8-10. He anticipated being flanked. He's going to be flanked. He's going to be caged. How did he know? Good sense and awareness there, buddy. Oh, that hurts. 633. This tank is brutal if you're fighting it. And the Charfatur has a four-second reload between shots. And is going to pay. Beautiful. Oh no, another leopard. <laughs> now, the leopard shot him in the ass and damaged his gun. Because that makes sense. I didn't program this game, but the Russian developers say that that makes sense. When you shoot this tank in the rear, uh, it makes sense that it would damage his gun. Uh, so, anyways, there is that. And now he shoots and misses because you rush the shot. They're still losing 10-11. If you would have aimed, I think you would have hit that. And he's going, don't! It has nothing to do with his damaged gun. It has to do that he didn't aim. Just aim. 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 That's a powerful VZ. You need to put a shot into him. Now aim, aim completely. No! What are you doing? Your circle is the size of the freaking map and you pull the trigger. Stop gyrating your body. This guy is just lucky, guys. Lucky. Stop moving around. Aim. There you go. Damaged gun. Click. Pramitia. <laughs> Why are you j jerking forward and back? They are outside your uh, view range. Damaged gun. Russia. Papadania. Okay, which one of these guys was luckier? And which one of these guys had more skill? Leave it in the comment section, guys. America or Russia? This is just a display of disgustingness of how did this guy hit those shots damn oh you had damaged gun and now he's gonna scoot across here the VZ could spot you and if he spots you that's a thou you're gonna take a thousand damage in the side because that VZ has two shots count them two and there's the EBR can he snap it no way no way no way and the the other objects snapped them the artillery snapped He snapped and missed, but the artillery, the other object, snapped and hit. Ay caramba. Okay, now he's fighting a VZ-55 that could really hurt him. Almost clip him with just the two shots. But that VZ, because of that lucky shot he has, is boom! He's a one shot now and he's bounced a shot. The VZ cannot kill you unless he reloads. The artillery can, though. 
Oh, the artillery missed. Okay, the VZ still has a... This, he took a shot. Boom! Got off! And the artillery hit you. Yes. 426. These artillery shells, man. That one didn't even hit. That one uh, hit just in front of your tank and did over 400 damage. Because artillery's been nerfed. Alright guys, can he handle the two SPGs? And as you watch the end of this, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave some comments, let me know which guy is more deserving of having the great game. It's going to be fun to read the comments, because I know what you guys are going to say. i got a pretty good idea how it's going to go in there. I'm going to vote T95 so far, okay? This guy had a lot of luck. Great game, though. He's over 8,000 damage. He hasn't won yet, but some good sense. Played very aggressively. A couple of mistakes, you know, staying open in the middle, but the enemies didn't capitalize them capitalize on them but uh just beautiful game but that t95 with the fighting ernie and bert we might have to make that a classic the t95 versus ernie and bert just beautiful <laughs> he's got four minutes here four minutes he wants to flip himself on his side is he gonna go check for the there he's got one he's got him Oh, it's going to hurt in the morning. Now, the other guy's over there. Is he going to check there and then go cap? I don't think he can get one shot. I I'd go cap, buddy. Why not? No? This guy's got a, a, a sense of... He knows where the enemies are. He's heading, If the artillery's down here, I don't know how he knew to go back. He's got some sort of a... Sixth sense of knowing where they are. Because I think that guy was shooting him from around here. And now he's heading south. Or he's heading west. Why is he doing this? If that uh, artillery is there. And the T-54 lightweight is telling him. I think so. He thinks he's over there. You have time. I'd go cap, buddy. Just go cap. And if they cap you, you have time to get back. Just go. You've got five kills. Might as well go for the... Uh, go cap or we lose, says the 60 TP. No, you don't lose. Uh, you draw, which is like kissing your sister. So it is like losing. It would be a shame to have over 8,000 damage, close to 9,000 damage. Maybe more, because there was a couple of blind shots there that looked like... You know, shots that looked like ghost shells. He might have hit someone. This guy could have 9,000 damage, plus it would be a shame to lose. So go cap. And it's getting a little... A little late to do that. Now he's got time. He's got almost three minutes. The other thing is, if he goes in the cap, <coughs> uh, the M53, M55 could blind shoot him and reset, which would not be very fun. But there's a little trick in the cap. Which is good. If you go in the cap and actually shoot the house, like position yourself somewhere, shoot the house, the Artie's in top-down mode. Now, the Artie's going to be looking at the cap. He's going to be looking at, where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Now, if I were him, I'd shoot this house. And then the enemy artillery thinks, ah, he just knocked down the house. And he blind shoots the, right uh, the vicinity of the house. Okay, the shell came from way over there. He's he's over over here somewhere. But he doesn't have time to go get him. Shoot down the house, buddy. Trust me, it's a good trick. Moving doesn't increase your odds uh, uh, at all of not being hit. You might as well just sit there. It's just a game of chance now. Moving just increases your odds of getting detected if the arty starts coming towards you to try and spot you. So, you know, moving is a waste of time. Shooting the house would confuse the artillery. But it's very low percentage chance that the Artie's going to hit him. There you go. The Artie shot the same spot. He did the, I think he's going to re go to where I shot because he doesn't think I'll shoot there twice. And I think we can count it down as a victory. The artillery's going to get one more shot. Unless the artillery shoots symmetrically to the other side of the cap 
says, let me try this side, in which case he hits him, and in which case... Let's just wait for the shot. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here it comes. And he missed. Why wouldn't the artillery go in their cap to do that? But easy... Well, he tried to lose by leaving the cap, but he left too late. Leave some comments in the comment section, guys. Let me know who had the better game. He did get over 9,000 with that blind shot. Lost credits. I will read your comments. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.